Another day, another workshop video. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, so today we're going to be looking at the submissions for the Overkill 2023 challenge. And I have downloaded a bunch of builds and we're going to check them out. So, for our first one, we have the um, Arachnophobia. This is by Pilato111 and it's a uh, overkill missile to kill a spider, I think? I don't know. So this is the spider and it has a distance sensor on it. Okay. I pressed E. I've detached from the, uh, the rocket. Cool. And then I uh, step on the spider, right? Okay. I'm stepping on the spider. Um, <laughs> I stepped on the spider. What's, what's supposed to happen? Is this rocket supposed to shoot up? Okay, well, um, <laughs> I press space and it's going into, uh, into the sky. Is it going to come down and land on top of the spider? What is it doing? Oh, there we go. The engines have dropped. Is it? I lost it, guys. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> it's actually coming back down. No way. <laughs> Did it get the spider? I want to see if it got the spider. <laughs> no, it did not get the spider. The spider is fine. Well, yeah, that is definitely uh, overkill for uh, for killing a little spider like this. I want to try that one more time. I think I see a speck. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's coming back down. Oh. Boom. <laughs> And it missed. Okay, well, um, I think there's easier ways to take care of spiders, guys. But yeah, that was definitely overkill. All right, for our next one, we have the Goliath MLRAS by Borbena Boss. So it kind of just looks like a missile launching truck. I'm sure I can figure this out. All right, okay. So arrows are to aim the missiles. I can drive. Nice. This is a pretty big, like, truck we got going on here. I think it's time to shoot the missiles. Let's go. Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, one of them is stuck. It's stuck. Come on. There you go. All right. I didn't really see them explode fully. So we're going to move on to the mainland. Let's aim the rockets like that. Press space. Okay. Yeah, that would do significant damage against the vehicle. You know what? Let's actually pull a vehicle out. This might take some practice, no? Or do you think I'm going to get this first time? All right. This looks good. Fire. Fire. Yes! We got some good hits there, guys. All right, what does shift do? Oh, okay, kind of raises. Oh, oh, I've been doing it wrong. Okay, so we can use shift to kind of deploy these legs, these struts, so I'm more stable. And then this tank is... There's no way this tank's going to survive this. There's no way. Boom! <laughs> Boo! I think one of those missiles is enough, right? Oh, and I didn't even launch them all. No, All right, Benner boss. This is a pretty cool overkill build. Definitely overkill. <laughs> All right, next we have the Fat Man, which is a, uh, I believe it's a nuke. A real nuke used in history. It's just a bomb. It's a nuke. So I think it will explode by itself, right? <laughs> I'm right. Yeah, that actually gave me a little bit of a shock. Yeah, it exploded. So if I just bring out a tank and then bring out the Fat Man. Oh, 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 I brought... <laughs> All right, there we go. Tank is next to the bomb. Let's see how much damage. Oh, wow. That is definitely overkill. That's gone completely in smithereens. It's in a million pieces. <laughs> you imagine dropping that? Like if, if I could stick that onto a helicopter or something and dropping it, I think it'd be way more fun to do. But yeah, Snoozy Fest, that's pretty cool. All right, next we have this uh, aircraft spaceship. It doesn't actually have a name. It just has the name of the challenge overkill 2023. But this one's by Jamand drops a bomb and it flies like an aircraft so i wonder can i take off from here from the ground look at that even the bomb has landing gear oh <laughs> all right this is more like it we have a runway all right so it looks like we have a ton of miniguns and there's also a second seat there which is nice but yeah that is that is a lot of firepower for sure I gotta swing this around. It's very difficult to get the hang of for flying, but I mean, at least it's working, right? And uh, let's fly over the mainland so I can drop this giant nuke here. We got another aircraft or another nuke going on here. Okay, so like I just said with the last creation um, about dropping a nuke, here we go. We actually get to drop one. There it goes. 
I'm gonna try and follow it down. Oh my gosh, this aircraft is so like nimble now. I dropped it. <laughs> there it goes. Boom! All right, yes. Okay, that is definitely overkill. If that hit a player or a vehicle, it would be gone. <laughs> I wonder if I can actually be accurate with this and aim it. Can I? Oh, it's a little, little wobbly. I want to hit this ramp. Did I hit the ramp? Yeah, we hit the ramp. Nice. All right, next up, we have the ultimate doom machine with a lot of guns and spikes and will destroy things. Hashtag overkill 2023 by Pixelotl. This is a Pixelotl creation. So it looks like a uh, APC with just cool weaponry. Like, look at that. <laughs> It can pretty much shoot in any direction, I think. Oh, it's got some cool features. I can move the top turret with the uh, arrow keys. And then I have rockets for some reason. I don't know why I have rockets, but yeah, I'll take it. And then, oh, look at that firepower. Wow, how many miniguns does it have inside here? It just has a... Whoa, that is a lot of miniguns. All right, I'm bringing out my B-25. That's a pretty big build, so we can actually do some uh, testing here. All right, okay, Every, everything's auto-aimed, so let's uh, let's fire all of the weapons and three, two, one. Damn, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we did some, uh, some real damage there. I wasn't even, it didn't have the full potential because the miniguns on the front were just shooting like in the way I was looking. Oh. There we go, I just fell. Okay, well, let's try this again with the spikes, like just ramming. So these pipes here, they're the spikes, and I think they're for like melee. So let's go. Rockets on, melee. Oh, I hit the wing. Okay, we need to do a better job here. I've damaged myself more than anything. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right, I'm, I'm kind of stuck on the wing. You know what? Let's just, yeah, there you go. Get out of the way. <laughs> ah, there you go. Epic. Well, nice one, Pixelotl. A really fun overkill build here. Okay, so next we have this thing, which is a, uh, a vault. An overkill vault. This one is by uh, CrazyBird199. In terms of controls, I don't know if this thing has a seat, right? Does it have a seat? Well, it has controls. I suggest you turn the time of day to midnight for the full experience. The seat is only to assist with repairing. There are no controls on it. To activate the vault door, toggle the buttons on either side. When with when both are activated, you will hear a siren. Step back and watch the show. Okay. All right. So this is kind of like a automation build. All right. It's it's very dark right now in the game. Is it supposed to be clanging like that? <laughs> I don't know. But here are the uh, here are the switches. That's pretty detailed. All right. There we go. Let's one toggle the other one. Oh, I didn't mean to turn it off. There we go. Yeah, guys, we're opening the vault. It's actually spinning. Oh, that is so epic. Got a smoke going off. And to reveal what's inside the vault, a, uh, a seat. There's a table and a seat, and then there's a little door here. Oh, I, I'm inside. First person. What is this? Um... Cheese? I just drop out? Okay. I think I get the point. It's a joke, right? It's overkill. The door is overkill just to open a little silly door. The massive vault. All right. Well, you got me there. Good job, dude. I said there's a trophy in this. Where is the trophy? Ah, oh, they scammed me. They scammed me good, guys. Okay, well, moving on to the next one. We have a not-so minigun by the Super Trouble Dude. So I think this is an upscaled version of the actual minigun weapon we get in the game. Oh, whoa, it is shooting straight away. Okay, let me get in the seat here so I can aim. There you go. There's the minigun. It is a big, big, big minigun right here. Is it supposed to spin? Can I make it spin, guys? Oh, oh. Oh, there you go. It kind of winds up. It winds up like a minigun. Nice. Oh. <laughs> it's so wonky. Oh. Oh, no. It's definitely overkill to build a giant minigun for sure. I like the winding up, though, of the spinning. Like, watch this. I press one, it starts spinning, and then the whole thing starts spinning. It's very difficult to aim, though, with it being so heavy on the base. Look at this. 
But yeah, I guess you could consider this overkill because there was no need to... Well, you don't really need to build a giant minigun like this, Bill. Oh, look at my character. Look at that. I'm spinning. Woo! <laughs> But yeah, good job, dude. I think that is a very, uh, very creative build there. Just going, going off one of these. You can uh, almost see the resemblance. All right, nice one, Super Trouble, dude. That was cool. Finally, we have the Overkill 2023 Flashlight by Player. <laughs> so this is a flashlight. Let's, uh, let's spawn it in. Ah! Ah! My eyes! Ah! <laughs> Dude, have you seen how bright this is? Oh my god, I'm actually losing frames. <laughs> okay, let, let me despawn this before it like lags out my game. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Having a look at some of the overkill creations uh, you guys have made for the weekly challenge. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Uh, they were all considered overkill. So, yeah, you guys did a good job. Well, if you want to see more videos like this, definitely leave a like. And why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.